Hi guys, welcome back to another Custom Worlds video. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple worlds. The first one is going to be one that's a dimension that's just completely filled with end cities. And the other one is going to be one where it seems as though all the dimensions have collided. And I also just wanted to point out one thing. It looks like there's a bug right now where you can't actually add new dimensions. It says that it's an unknown dimension type. So right now, you're only left with the ability to edit the existing worlds without using a data pack. So in this video I'm just gonna edit the existing worlds I'll edit the overworld just so that we spawn into the dimension that we create and we will have a look at these new worlds remember if you like this video please leave a like on the video below and consider subscribing because it'll really help this channel a lot thanks so much now let's get to the worlds all right so we are back here in the world gen settings generator by Misode. again there will be a link for this in the description and in this video, we're just going to change the overworld for the dimensions that we create instead of adding a dimension because there is a bug with that right now. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to switch the biome source to multi-noise. We can keep the seed the same and then we're just going to add biome and then here we're going to pick and Midlands. That's one of the two biomes that end cities will generate in. And the other thing you have to do is put a value somewhere in here. If you leave these all as zeros, for some reason it won't do anything. But if you do something as simple as 0.5 for that, it'll generate just fine. Next, we're going to open the generator settings and we can leave all of this the same. We have to open the noise options. And again, we can leave all of this the same. The next thing we have to do is add the end city structure so that's minecraft end city and for this we're going to change the spacing to two and the separation to one in my previous videos i said that this salt number had something to do with how many it brings in apparently it's not it helps with randomization so usually i just type in a random bunch of numbers and that should be fine all right so the next thing we need to do is go up here to your code section and then we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this into our notepad and we're gonna save this as end.json as all files. Next, we go back into Minecraft, create a new world, import our end settings in creative mode and then create. And then we just wait for it to load. It may take a little while. All right, and when your world finally loads in, you will see that you're in a dimension filled with end cities, wall to wall. There will be end ships all over the place, endless amounts of shulker boxes and elytras, and access to, of course, all the end chests that you could ever imagine. And this will just go on forever in all directions since we just chose one biome with the same settings. So you could make a world that was like this and just never stops. All right, so now that we've made this world, we're gonna move on to the next world. In this world, it's gonna look like all of the dimensions have collided together into one. Okay, so we're back here in the World Gen Settings Generator again. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the biome source again, change that back to multi-noise, leave the seed the same. And this time we're gonna add a few more biomes. So I think we're gonna go with three from each dimension. Plains, that's fine. And then we'll pick snowy tundra, add another one, and then we'll pick bamboo jungle. Now I'm just gonna add three more right away. The first one, I'm going to choose end midlands. The second one, I'm gonna choose just the end. And the third one, let's go with end barrens. And then we'll go back up to the top and we'll add three more. And for these ones, I'm just gonna select nether for all three, even though this won't work right now because the nether biome doesn't technically exist. So when I get up into the code, I'm gonna change those manually. And then I'm just going to change, I'm gonna give them all a temperature. I'll start at one and I'll work my way down 0.1 at a time. So one, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, all the way down to where it stops at 0 0.2. And for this one, I'm just gonna leave the generator settings and the dimension options the same. Now up in the code window, where it says the biome Minecraft Nether, that biome doesn't exist. It's all individual nether biomes. So you have to change that to what nether biomes you want. So I'm going to pick Warped Forest. 
Soul Sand Valley. And I'll go with Nether Wastes, just so we get something that looks like the classic Nether. Then we're gonna copy that code, paste into a text document, save as, all files. I'm gonna call this one mashup.json and then save it. Then we create a new world, import the settings for mashup, ignore the warning, hit create and just wait for it to load. Again, this is probably gonna take a while. All right, so the world is loaded in now and it looks like it started us out in a nether area. So let's go check it out. All right, so you can see that we've started here in a nether wastes. It looks like there's some soul sand valley nearby. You can see the base block is stone. So underneath all the nether rack, you're going to find stone. Head far enough out and you'll get past the warp forest biome. And then you'll see it goes into an end biome. This one, let's see here. This is End Barrens, right next to that. And of course, over here, just beyond the End Barrens, we have a bamboo jungle, right next to a snowy tundra. There's some interesting generation here. A jungle temple has spawned, and it's uh, partially touching the end. Here you can see biomes from all three worlds in one shot. The warp forest over there, end in the middle, jungle on the side. And you can see that nether fortresses will spawn if they can. Now this one looks like it's mostly submerged into the ground, but it does seem to go for a, a fair distance. It's still so strange for me to see water next to netherrack. And here you can even see that though it's rare, end cities will even generate with end ships. The ship seems to be over the warp forest. Background is the bamboo jungle. So there's a lot that you can do by selecting individual biomes and combining them in different ways. Before I go today, I want to share with you a little, I guess you'd call it a bonus feature. You can add it into any one of your other worlds. For this example, I'm just going to use the overworld and I'm going to go into the generator settings, open up the noise options, and then I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it into a notepad document. And right here where it says structures, instead of adding the structure in the generator, if you just go in between the two structures and type in mineshaft in quotation marks with a colon afterwards, then a curly bracket. On the next line, you type in chance, also in quotation marks, with a colon. Set that to 1.0. And then on the next line, you close the curly bracket and put a comma. We'll save that as mines.json. And then we go back into Minecraft, create a new world in creative mode with the settings for mines. Ignore the warning. And then we're just going to wait a minute for this to load. That took a lot longer than one minute. <laughs> but anyways, here we are. I'm just going to go into spectator mode and you'll see what kind of effect that, that has on the game. As we go underground, now I did forget to add all the other structures in there. So you'll notice that there's ruined portals all over the place, but there's also going to be way, way more mine shafts than you'll normally find in a world. In fact, what the 1.0 means is that there's a 100% chance of a mine shaft generating if it can in that area, right? So there should be even more mine shafts down here, but I think the ruined portals have stopped a few of them from generating. But one thing you'll notice is that if you just add the mine shaft as a structure, the same way that you add everything else, it won't generate in this way. Like it, you won't have as many. This is the way to do it. It's copying from the super flat settings. And this is how you get mine shafts to generate more often than they normally would. So I went and put in all the rest of the structures to stop it from stopping the mine shafts from generating. And you'll see now that it's just mine shaft after mine shaft after mine shaft, like nonstop. This is how to get mine shafts that just keep going because it's a 100% chance of generating. So wherever they can generate, they will. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. And I do have a bit of an announcement to make. My next video, I'm going to be making a custom world and it's going to be a Let's Play series. So you'll get to see me play through a few custom dimensions. I'm gonna be taking the normal dimensions, the overworld, the nether, and the end, and I'm gonna be tweaking their settings. And I've already got some settings in mind. 
My goal is to make it a completely different experience from vanilla Minecraft. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that there's going to be a big surprise for the end. It, it's mind-blowing what I managed to make these settings do to the end. So that's something that you can look forward to. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel because it would really help me out a lot. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.